107 youth lost their lives in the hands of police in 2019. This according to Missing Voices organization in a report they released earlier today. Mama Victor is one among many Kenyans who are in search for justice for the loss of their loved ones. She feels it more since she lost her two sons in 2017. Since then, nothing has been done by the relevant government organization to address their grievances. Valentine's Day, a day to celebrate loved ones, but for these Kenyans who are the tomboy statue in Nairobi's CBD for a brief spell of time, it was a day set aside to further pursue justice for their loved ones. They allegedly lost them to police bullets. Last year, the police killed 107 Kenyans, according to Missing Voices, verified data. That tells you that there's a number that we might not know about. And these were mostly young men, mostly in informal settlements. Mama Victor, still grappling with the loss of her two sons, 24-year-old Victor Okoth and 26-year-old Bernard Okoth, who met their sudden and violent death in Madare area in 2017. It has been three years since the unfortunate incident, but no progress has been made with regards to investigating their deaths. <laughs> She's not only nursing wounds in her heart, but she has been left to support a family left behind by her sons, a burden that is too heavy for her shoulders. She's a widower with little income. <laughs> According to Missing Voices Organization, in 2019, 107 youths aged between 18 to 35 lost their lives in the hands of police. That is 69% of the entire number of youths allegedly killed by police. 20% of them were below 18 years of age. Since 2007, 589 people have disappeared from the face of earth. Mtoto anakufa kama jagonje kama nini ni uchungu. Serikali ingilie kati. Iwachukue, ipeleke ndani wa elimishwe wanaweza kureform now that despite the positive efforts commanding that all officers should wear uniforms while they're on duty disbanding spiv disbanding a flying squad uh, that have in the past of course been accused of the killings we've seen a spike in killings in january this year we saw 14 human rights organizations insist that all these statistics are of youths who hail from informal settlements Kadzogunga, Citizen TV.